What's on my single chat? So while the internet and the journalists were busy canceling GTA 6, we got news on the gameplay, my brothers. We got news on the GTA 6 gameplay and ex Rockstar Games dev just came out. He talks about all the asses that we had in the game, all the burnas in the Bruh. game. But not just that, he also clarifies what is gameplay and what is in-game engine, what is cinematic, how these trailers are made, and is this trailer actually gameplay? Or is the gameplay really gonna look like this trailer? We're gonna get into this video, like this video if you enjoy videos like these, subscribe if you're brand new, and let's check it out. You know, and I just want to clarify a couple things and give my impressions on, 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 on something. So, let's dive in and give a little second impression. Yeah, let's get into it, The man. biggest question I had from a lot of the people that are viewers and in the comment section and IGN, all this different stuff, was... <clears throat> are these scenes in game yeah. right are they are they in game are they cin real quick though what you guys think do you think this was cinematic shot do you think this was gameplay do you think this was in game engine get your ass in the comments let me know man let a brother know okay and drop a like boys but opera looking crazy in this one though opera Bruh. cinematics there's like these different words and you know are they real time are they you know this or that are they pre-rendered are they so one thing I want to clarify is, is when I say that that this is um, all in game, what I mean is it's Damn. all in engine. And what they're Yo. doing in here is they're, they're a lot of times when uh, the the way hey, I want to yo. get this across is that a lot of times when they make a cutscene, um, they're going to try to make it the best they can when they're presenting it in a trailer. True. Okay. So, um, for instance, this scene right here. Okay. There's a bunch of flamingos. They're flying around and hey. <laughs> don't put one in your car <laughs> okay try to, it's so funny by the way on this note somebody put in the comment section they said uh stealing flamingos in your car confirmed <laughs> I just thought that was really good. <laughs> shout out to that commenter that was hilarious yeah. so yeah, honestly we need to see that your rockstar make that happen and those of you that do not know this guy worked on a gta 5 and red dead redemption 2's animations though so this guy was very much behind obviously there were thousands and thousands of other devs that worked on it but this guy also put his heart and soul into making gta 5 animations and he did a, a brilliant job though let's be real the animations of gta 5 are the art to still hold up to this day though it, to take this scene into consideration right um is this in game is this a cutscene? this is most likely an in-game scene and but Damn. that being said when they do a trailer or they're presenting like you know a trailer to the audience most companies okay i'm not going to speak for rockstar but yeah most when he says most company the only company that comes to my mind is the cd project red bruh with that with that cyberpunk situation i just hope that that buddha is real though i don't want that buddha getting there for rockstar don't do it don't you do it okay in the trailer it's looking kind of mighty but i hope they don't do it in the actual game though like the video figure it's companies including rockstar usually what they'll do is they'll they'll put a bunch of flamingos in here right normally in game but for the trailer they'll put in a couple more flamingos yeah. they'll have a little bit more foliage in the back they'll pump up the texture a little bit they'll do they'll add a little bit extra fog in that area they'll they'll hide a little bit extra stuff in the background so that they can kind of get a little bit more memory and and assets to be able to stream it a little bit better just during the scene and while they're showing it off right for the trailer but that doesn't mean that this is like a crazy cutscene and the game's not going to look like this or or any anything like that okay. so I want to okay, I mean it's good to get that clarification because yeah it's something that we all have been debating right is it actually gonna look this good knowing and seeing so many games in especially like in 20 in this 2020 era right Bruh. seeing all the game trailers most of the games never look like the actual trailer so I mean when suckers are doubting when suckers are confused when suckers are sus I don't blame anybody okay I seriously don't blame anybody and even when I look at this I'm like damn bro is the game really gonna look like like this i hope it looks like this i hope it looks like this but deep down i get reminded of cyberpunk deep down i get that ptsd deep down i'm like bro like we're, we don't have playstation 20 so it's not probably not gonna look this good but then i'm like bro but hold up like hey, 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 pump the brakes though this is rockstar games we're talking about this is rockstar games you know so this this is the only thing that gives me hope that this genuinely gonna be looking like this but it's good to get clarification that most probably it's gonna look like this but the trailer is probably beefed up a little bit preface on a lot of that stuff which is you a lot of these things are gonna be in game um and now damn man there are so many sisters out here bro oh what i mean by that is that they're just 
they're streaming in engine they're not something that's pre-rendered it's not a pre-rendered asset that's been like you know rendered outside of the game sort of thing and then loaded in and yeah. you're watching like a movie yeah. right and, and look at that she is like strong independent <laughs> mm -mm, no need no man i mean lucy are looking kind of good though that's not the case a car can really fly into that scene you know but what happens is um you know the developer rockstar in this case doesn't want like if this is like for instance if this is a cut scene uh let me just show you this right here let's say this scene right here um this one <laughs> let's say that this scene is a cut scene yeah. right? okay i i think he accidentally paused on the wrong uh frame though oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah man come on bro i needed some more details on that last scene bro we had a lot of those sisters you know i wanted to get the details man come on bro why are you pausing here right like pause on the last shot though right like you're playing the game and then all of a sudden you set the you don't have control right now you're just watching these guys talk right now um, it's going to be played and streamed in the engine and in game and whatnot, but the developer, you know, Rockstar in, is going to make sure and mitigate a couple things so that the cutscene doesn't mess up, right? Uh -huh. So they're going to minimize how many people are being loaded in around this vicinity, probably. I'm, I'm just taking a guess, okay? Because I'm not a coder. Uh, I'm just the animator, right? When I was over there, I was just doing animation for the most part, but mm -hmm. I've been working in games for a really long time. So I know how this stuff kind of works and, and usually what they do, right? So in this case, if it's a cutscene, a lot of times they'll hide some of the people, they'll minimize all these different things so that they can stream in better hair quality. This will be like a different version of the character. They'll have two versions usually. They'll have a version that's like an in-game version per se, the one mm -hmm. that's like walking around the city and you see him everywhere, you can run up and punch him. And then they have another one that's like a cutscene version. And the cutscene version is the one that they're gonna use for in-game, right? It doesn't mean that it's not in-game or real time or all these different kind of phrases that people are throwing out there. Yeah, it, it makes sense, right? Because for example, right, let, let's say this is a cutscene. I know it's not a cutscene, but so all the things that you have in the background and all the things that are gonna be on the other side, for example, where his eyes are looking at, obviously we do not see what his eyes are seeing right now. So in a cinematic cutscene, they're gonna make sure like it, that stuff doesn't show or it's not there or they're not gonna put like too many stuff there so because of the ram and the processes and crap like that it may, makes sense though i mean uh, that's the, the yeah uh, i mean save from a save memory right save rain bro save rain bro it's not a pre-rendered cutscene. That's the point. Because a lot of times mm. in the old school days of gaming, they would have a pre-rendered cutscene. And what that would mean is that they would do all these things way above and beyond the game. They would put in all this extra lighting and all this extra like, you know, physics and things. They'd go way above and beyond. And they would make it look super realistic. And you would play the game and the game would be all clunky and jumpy and around and it doesn't look very detailed. And then you would watch that like cutscene, whatever you want to call it, right? And when it would show the cinematic or cutscene, it would be really realistic, right? Yay. Well, that's because it was pre-rendered but rockstar mm. in this case has done a really good job at blending the two of them They're, they make their in-game their like assets look so real that they use those in-game assets Damn. as their actual cutscenes, and it's really powerful that way because it gives them a lot of um leeway on different cameras and different things you this brother giving me hope right now man yeah. this brother giving me hope that this game that this game is that ass gonna look like this and with rockstar whatever we see in the first trailers is usually right i cannot say this for other companies and other devs but with rockstar bro look at the first or rdr2 trailer look at the first gtk5 trailer and compare that with the launch trailer and compare that with the uh, with current day with the games that we have in our hands right and what we see in the games night and day difference though i, I remember seeing the first trailer for gta 5 it, it looked i mean it looked amazing for the time it came out but now when you look back i'm like damn bro like the game is way better than what whatever we had in, in that first trailer so that kind of makes sense i mean they always improve stuff though so i'm really really excited to see see the game and all that bonus come in the game guys you can do this, you know in the, in the game um but you can do more with a cinematic it actually hinders you to do it in game it's more impressive to do a cutscene in game and make it still look good that's why i emphasize it like oh my god this is in game or oh my god because it's almost more impressive to do it that way right but it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they haven't uh hit a couple things maybe in the scene or you know i don't know what they're doing over there right like don't quote me ign <laughs> i keep doing <laughs> up finger quotes but yeah don't quote me on it but this is what i assume is oh happening over there, right because in the game you want to show off the cutscene but you also don't need all those people in the background or, or whatnot so technically it's in game true, true, but it's true, not true. a pre-rendered cutscene hopefully that mm. clears up kind of the aspect of that all right, uh, let's get... but, but, uh, but i got a question though i got a question <laughs> no man i'm joking around man I'm back playing. in here and let's talk a little bit more about a couple other things in this trailer um now 
For instance, a scene like um, holy this right here. Okay. Hey, um, yo, what? Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn! This is the the type of questions we have, man. This is the type of answers we need to the questions that we have. So, yeah, we wanna know, bro. We wanna know if this is real. Is this Lucia? Is this not Lucia? Is the Buddha real? Is the Buddha gonna get nerfed? We wanna know. We got some questions, bro. We got some questions, man. One thing that the IGN brought up and a bunch of comments have been asking is, is this Lucia or whatever her name is in in the game? Probably. It does look like her. Um, and it looks like she's dyed her hair blonde and maybe she's undercover on this thing. But it still does look like, you know, an in-game cutscene or an in-game scene. Her hair's... See what I mean, right? See what I was saying the other day, bro? These females looking different on a daily basis, though. This is why I, I teach young men, don't chase the pom-pom guys. Don't do it. Bruh. Chase your dreams, okay? And, but but if you're gonna... I mean, eventually you got to, I mean. But, but don't chase the pom-pom regardless. But if you're ever gonna go on a date... Take that chick to a swimming pool. You're going to see that 20 pounds of makeup coming off. Because these chicks looking different every single day with all that makeup. Even a rock star Dave is having a hard time knowing if this is Lucy or not. I mean, what else proof? What more proof you need? Bruh, like, I, I swear to God. But, but she looking good, though. She looking fine, though. That burn is big, bro. But even a rock star Dave is kind of confused still has like um it's kind of got pixelated edges to it you can see the shadow on her back is a tiny bit um but not on her Where? back but you can see that it's not perfectly smooth and awesomely rendered okay they could have made these scenes way better trust me rockstar has the ability to make these scenes look even better as a pre-rendered scene but they're not trying to do that i don't think right they're trying to really push this as much as they can so if this is a cut scene like i said before maybe they're hiding a few cars down below they're doing a few things to really push the limits they can in this kind of area to make the cut scene shine and make it look as best as they can right so hopefully a lot of that makes some sense <laughs> Okay, this next scene I wanted to show is another kind of scene that looks re very realistic. And this is one that actually throws me off. Now, after I've watched it a few more times, this could be um, something that's more pre-rendered, but I don't think it is because of the her hair and whatnot. I just think they might have done a really good job and they figured out something new that we don't know about yet on like how they're doing uh, light reflecting off of the camera lens. Because you can mm -hmm. see like these kind of light flares and, and lens flares and they look so smooth and beautiful. Yeah. They don't look pixelated. Yeah, look at, look at the arm especially, right? Like that reflection coming off and you see uh, the reflection on his face. Damn, bro. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, I would, I suppose that this is cinematic but might be actually in-game engine though uh, right that that's that's insane i think this game is gonna be a lead bro they Hopefully. look so pretty right there in that scene so i don't know it could be one of those scenarios like i said before where they are hiding a lot of stuff in the background so that they can really push the polygon limits and they can push the quality of like the shadows and the lighting and stuff like that right in this scene it's important you know when you play other games um, like The Last of Us and different stuff. That's what they do to make it look very realistic. They, You're only in this little pocket of the game. You're in this one little mission. You're in this one little room. And when you're in that one little room, they have the opportunity to hide everything around it. And when they do that, they can make the that room look more realistic, right? Mm, so yeah. it's harder for a, a company like Rockstar to pull off a big open world game and make it look realistic. That's what is so impressive about these games. Sense, that I think though. a lot of viewers don't even understand is that yeah. not only does it look this good, but it looks this good with that many assets going around Damn. the city with all these things being streamed in all these i mean there's a lot of stuff going on in here and the only yeah and, and i genuinely feel like that dog like with all that stuff though i i know we have been memeing this for a while but guys like after seeing this i would not be surprised if this second like look uh plays at 30 fps on the normal ps5 and series x Bruh. because we are hearing about the ps5 pro they're gonna be like yeah buy that that is magically gonna make the game play at 60 fps i hope they don't do that thing i hope there's like still a performance mode for the ps5 and series x but i i enjoyed this video man this was such a brilliant video and it gives us a lot of new perspective if you want to see more definitely let me know in the comments below and click on this video on the screen because some journalists are trying to ban this game. Why, you might ask, right? Click on this video. The reason is absolute brain dead, though. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.